What's up? This is Reading and Leeds Festival. I'm here with Clement and Kojo from Clement, Marfo and The Frontline, who have got to be one of the most talked about bands at the moment. You guys are playing Reading Festival alongside a lineup of bands that reads like the who's who of music right now. <laughs> How does that feel? Pressure. <laughs> yeah, pressure. <laughs> Uh, it feels really good. Um, the pressure is good. It just makes us really excited and eager to perform. Um, like you said, like the array of artists that are performing are just, you know, up there. So it, it really does feel good to be a part of it. Awesome. And did you guys used to come to the festival as festival goers when you were younger? No, because we're from London. So like, you know, it's really hard. You know, as a younger, we didn't really have money as much, you know. But um, we're going to be here. It's funny. The first time we're going there, we're going to perform it. So it's a cool vibe. Awesome. So um, you guys recently released a track called Champion, yeah. to, to quote your own lyrics back at you. Um, last one to rest, first one to rise. Yeah. Is that an attitude you take into real life? Is that oh, hell yeah. That's why we wear sunglasses, man. You can't see the bags coming on here. <laughs> no, but literally our work ethic eyes. is crazy, you know. We've supported the likes of Florence Machine, Rizzle Kicks, Labyrinth, to um, Plan, B. Plan B. So yeah. it's mm. like our work ethic is what we're all about. And we, we want to, you know, obviously, work the overtime to be recognised and as you said to be alongside with all these great acts you know with and its lineup it shows that our hard work is really paying off. Sure, absolutely. Um, I also heard Clement that you crowd surfed at a Jay-Z gig recently. Dude, it's <laughs> the best feeling of my life. Yeah. I'm telling you I've got to try it. Have you ever tried it before? I have, I have, yeah. Oh it my goodness. Fun. And the thing is, yeah, like everybody I think they did um Paris like like so many times and stuff. The third time, I swear, I just like had goosebumps all over, and then everybody just lifted me up, and literally was crowd surfing the whole of the O2 arena, man. Nah, it was nuts. Awesome. And Jay Z saluted me, like. Serious? Just, <laughs> I, got, I got so crazy, I just took off my hat and I just threw it. You didn't get dropped or anything? No, 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 no. man. Did people recognize you in the crowd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were people they? like people was tweeting and stuff oh, like sick. Clements like crowd surfing in <laughs> the O2, like. But I was, I'm a big fan of Jay Z, and yeah. um, I didn't want to be in the box, you know. You know, watching from above and, and not seeing everything. I wanted to be there and feel it. Get involved. Exactly. So out of all the lineup of Reading and Leeds, who's most likely to make you do that again? And are you going to have a go this time? Oh, that's so tough. Yeah. Do you know, I want to crowd surf, but my excuse is that I have to sing. So I can't do it. Yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. be singing at the same time over crowd surfing. But, uh, that's a reasonable excuse. Yeah, it's a reasonable, it's a good excuse. It's a very, very good excuse. So I'm going to stick by it. But, um, Odd Future before me. Yeah. Uh, they might do it. Yeah. Awesome. Foo Fighters. Mm -hmm. That's a tough one. There's, there's a, it's an incredible lineup. Yeah. Okay. Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's I'm, look, so I'm looking forward to seeing Azealia Banks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, I love her tune, uh, 212. So, I want to be raving in there, man. I'm going to be raving. Well, you know where to find these guys at the, at the Reading lineup. Then, if you're, yes. if you're looking for them. Uh, so, tell us, um, what can we expect from you guys at your Reading gig? You got any any special <laughs> things performed? Any tricks up your sleeve? Now, we've added this new song to the set. Especially, you know, when we found out we was performing at Reading Leeds, we had to get this song involved in our set, and it's called "Get Rowdy." Okay. And literally, it's like. What we're all about is incorporating different genres, so bringing in hip hop and bringing in rock, yeah. rock and just meshing it together. Mm -hmm. And this song, we performed it, I think we, we've done a few festivals before, and people go insane, yeah. lose their minds. So today, at Wireless, awesome. you're going to watch <laughs> what's going to happen. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, I look forward to seeing that at Reading and Festival. There's one place to make a crowd go nuts, it's there, so yeah, that should go down well. Um, so next question, going back to your single champion, I watched a video from that, which is awesome by the way. Thank you. Uh, part of it was filmed in a boxing ring, so I'm going to ask you guys the Fight Club question. Let's go for it. Who, dead or alive, would you most like to fight if you could fight? Ooh, I'd like to fight. Do you know what? I would like to fight um, Pamela Anderson. Oh it's yeah? Be very random, <laughs> Yeah. but you know, she's got big jugs, so it's uh, like... <laughs> we're nice, nice. <laughs> be training it up. But no, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to fight a guy because I'd probably get hurt, man. Mm. Don't I, think I've seen, uh, I think I've been asked this question before, but for comedy value, I think just Jack Black. Jack Black, yeah. It would yeah. just be hilarious that just to have a little a, fight with him. That would be yeah. a good fight. <laughs> that, would be, that would be someone I would choose, yeah. Ah, awesome, good call. Um, so, if you could tell the crowd one thing, you know, there's a whole lot of bands playing at Reading Festival. Yeah. It's going to be tough to choose people deciding who to see on the day. Why should they come see you guys in particular? Um, basically, Clement Marth on the front line is like a festival bill squashed into 45 minutes. 
that's basically it. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> enough said. Yeah, enough said. It's like, we, we have hip hop, rock, pop, soul. So we appeal to a wide demographic. So pretty much if you want to come and see a musical experience, then yeah, come see Clement Marth on the front line. You can sing along, you can enjoy yourself, you can jump, you can stage dive, mosh, you, know, yeah. you know what I mean? So um, we just make sure that, you know what? I'm going to say this. I was once the person in the audience, mm -hmm. as I said, being at Watch the Throne. And I know what I like. I pay all this money. I want to be entertained. Sure. And I always remember telling the band, like, we have to entertain these guys. They paid a lot of money to come and watch us. We got to make sure that they walk away feeling like it was worth it. Yeah. So, awesome. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoy our set. Well, I'm sold. Thank you. <laughs>